I did a thing. Uh, I got a new car. Now, whenever people take selfies in the mirror, the Grinch is gonna be pooping in the background. And then my daughter now gets to come home in this dress. <laughs> Hey guys, it's been literally so freaking long since I filmed. I have been feeling like absolute caca recently. I'm like 20, oh my God, how far am I in my pregnancy? Holy shit. This pregnancy has been going by so freaking fast. It's literally not even funny. Oh my gosh, I'm 29 weeks. I'm about to be 30 weeks pregnant. That's crazy. I haven't really filmed that much, okay? There's been a lot going on kind of but not really um because i've just been feeling very like groggy and just not the best not the most energy this pregnancy um with when i was pregnant with elias i was able to sleep a lot because i obviously didn't have another kid to take care of but now i have a whole toddler and he's crazy and he's wild and he just is filled with energy all the time so um I just haven't been in a filming type of mood. I went and got my hair done a few days ago i decided to go a little bit darker and i also cut like a bunch off it's not styled right now so please ignore that but i am trying to go a little bit darker because since i'm about to have baby number two your girl's not trying to go in and out of a salon all the time okay keeping up with blind is a lot and on top of that i feel like the darker on me gives off more of the mature mom vibe um now i just got him cleaning my entire house because i literally have been going through like not a depression episode but just like a no energy episode like i've literally not had any type of energy to want to do anything i've been literally napping with elias um i've been eating like absolute crap and that just it has to change anthony literally gave me a whole speech yesterday and he was like you need to be eating more red meats and you need to eat root vegetables and make sure you're taking your prenatals and he's like i just want you to be healthy and i'm like i totally get it but it's just so much more convenient to eat a hot pocket you know what i mean so today i got up and i went grocery shopping because thanksgiving is in a couple of days so on thursday we're doing thanksgiving with my family and then on friday we're doing thanksgiving with anthony's family um and so for my mom's thanksgiving all we have to do is make the turkey and take it over there they're making all of the sides and we're doing like a potluck style type of thing which is what we do every single year and then with anthony's family i'm cooking like pretty much all of the sides and then dad is gonna cook the turkey um i think he's gonna make me some potato scallops or scalloped potatoes or whatever it's called and then maybe like a couple of other things but so yeah i went to the grocery store this morning now i have a lasagna in the oven because i can only clean or or have a good meal okay a day there's the it, i can't do both but i did learn recently how to make dinner rolls from scratch so you guys are going to make it with me so what is happening right now is i have warm milk warm water yeast and sugar in here and the yeast is blooming which i can actually probably go ahead and start mixing so after this i'm gonna add in one egg and a fourth cup of butter and i'm gonna put that in here mix it around and then i'm gonna start adding in my flour So I'm going to add in some Italian seasoning. Here, do you want to try? Put it on here. Good job. You got to shake it. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> try again. Shake, 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 shake. Good job. Okay, close it. Close it. Push it down. Good job. Okay, now look. Now you do like this. See? Whoa. 
<laughs> Whoa, you helping mommy? Here, you can have some too. Here, you try. Here you go, you play with that one. Whoa. Is that so cool? This is called dough. It's what we make bread with. Don't eat it, it's not gonna taste good. We have to cut it. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah. Now we cut it and we make, oh, don't cough on it, dude. And we're gonna make some little rolls. See? So now, so I already have my pan like greased and everything, and then now we're gonna do like this. So you're gonna flatten it. See, Bubba? You flatten it just a little bit. <laughs> you're gonna do just a little bit of this. <laughs> Spread it around, push it in, and then you. <laughs> Oh my goodness! And then you roll it. And don't eat it, it doesn't taste good, I'm telling you. You roll it and you basically make a little ball. Push it in. Wait, yep, good job, go. Do it. Good job. And then we're gonna roll it. You flat? No. You want to put it in there? Here, put it in. Good job! Mm -hmm. Oh, you put it on top. Oh, did you put seasoning on it? <laughs> Can you put some more right here? Put some right here. Oh, just a little bit. Okay. Yay! Good job. Now we need to cover it and let it sit, and then we're going to egg wash it. And then we're going to put it in the oven at 375 for like 20 to 25 minutes, depending. So, that's it. has not been having a good day like at all he has been super super fussy today he did not want to take his nap he was like screaming bloody murder when we were giving him a bath and getting him dressed and all that kind of stuff but that's so anyways that's why i'm talking quiet okay because i'm like right in front of his room but um tomorrow is thanksgiving i thought it would be cute if i had elias make some little like craft things for my mom and my grandma um, to take to them tomorrow so um i just went to joanne's the other day and i seen these little things and it's like these little wooden i was originally gonna get ornaments but i want something he can like paint and stuff and i want to be able to put his handprint on it so um i got like this one's a reindeer i also got an ornament and then i also got a snowman so the snowman i am actually gonna let dad so we're having thanksgiving with anthony's family here at my house so whenever they come over i'm gonna let um anthony and dad i mean not anthony but dad and elias paint the snowman together because i feel like 
instead of me just giving them like a craft you know that he made i think that it would be more fun if like dad actually did the craft with him um and i would love to do that with my mom and my grandma but we're gonna have a house like full of people um and it's gonna be at my mom's and i don't want to like have him getting like paint and stuff all over him whenever he's not at home because like i can't just throw him in the bath you know what i mean but anyway so that's what i'm doing i'm just setting up anthony is in charge of the turkey for tomorrow and he literally has yet to do anything to it i mean last time i made the turkey for friendsgiving he woke up the morning of at like seven or eight and then started like doing everything and then it, by the time he was done like cooking it it was ready by like one i think which is the time that the thanksgiving is with my family but in the morning anthony is planning on going to play football because every thanksgiving the guys go and they play football and whatever so i'm gonna stay home with elias but i'm not making that turkey i don't know how to make turkey okay uh that's anthony shep this his first time ever making turkey was our friendsgiving and everyone literally raved about how good it was like literally texting asking for the recipe my mom was supposed to make the turkey for this thanksgiving but because everyone was ranting about anthony's turkey she was like can you guys please make it like y'all everyone likes it so can you please just make it so now we're in charge of the turkey right here. not in your mouth okay yeah. there you go now put it on there good job can you do one at a time Right-handed. Show me a map of all the things here. You go. Now put it on here. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Tracy. Ha! There's a gate two blocks away. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you put red. Okay. Look, there's also white over here too. Look, there's white. That's okay. We'll clean you up later. Show us. Show us. Show us what you made. Double layered. Look at that. Look at all that. Double. Why does it look burnt? It's not burnt. You know. <laughs> if it was burnt, it'd be black. It's brown. It's just crisp. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's crisp. Good to know. Go. Good to know. Crisp. Dang, all that does look pretty good. Look at Levy. Look at the coil corn. Whoa. Look at the coil oh, but, corn hey, but right have here. You see, have you seen the thrust liches? No. I, I need to look at look, it. Go. She go. Wait, I want to get your face. Shut that up. Oh! Oh! Uh, it's got all the fruit on it. That is. Ooh! Ooh! Look at it, boy! <laughs> What's up, guys? And welcome to another vlog. So, I did a thing. Uh, I got a new car. This is my first, like, real new car like i literally got it with three miles on it she's a 2024 mazda cx50 but anyway she is beautiful okay she is stunning and i'm literally so grateful this is my first real new car all of the cars that i've had have always been cash cars um and then the toyota that i had before this was a 2017 which is still like pretty new but i like i only had that car because i took over payments oh from somebody not because like I chose to have that car you know what I mean so like yeah I had like a nice car or a nice I mean it was not like super spectacular but it was decent um but there was a couple things that I did not like about it like for one I did not feel safe in that Toyota like I felt like if I like drove in the rain I was just gonna slip and slide everywhere I literally felt like I was on ice skates um whenever the wind would blow even just a little bit too hard 
I felt like my car was gonna like blast off. You know what I mean? So um, that was like a big thing for me. Another thing is that there was no vent in the back for the kids. I say kids, we all know I'm pregnant, but I, for some reason I keep saying kids now instead of kid. But anyways, there's no vents in the back. So um, I had like a tube that went all the way through the middle of my car, which was like not the end of the world, but it was like kind of inconvenient, like having a big ass tube, like just running down the middle of my car. Um, so yeah, anyways, this car literally checks off every single thing that I would want in a car. Um, another little thing with the Toyota that is like me just being picky is that my GPS didn't pull up on my like little screen thing. Um, my music would and I had Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff but my my Google Maps wouldn't pull up on there or even like, like there was no CarPlay basically. Um, and this one is super, super nice. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I have like this really big screen right here that has like all of the apps and the CarPlay and all that kind of stuff. Um, all of my little controls. I now have heated seats. Ah! And then here's like what the little middle, oh my god, she's dirty. Here's what the little middle thing looks like. And then the steering thing is like all digital. My mirror is beautiful. I know that's like a something that's like not like super important, but it's literally like the entire mirror is a mirror and it's, I don't know, it's just nice. It looks so sleek. And then in the back, hi baby. We have Elias. Um, I did make him forward facing now because we feel way safer in here. And with this car seat, he actually could have been forward facing like a couple of months ago, but I wanted to keep him backward facing. Um, I just wanted to keep him backward facing in the Toyota because like I said, I did not feel the safest in that car. So um, I just wanted to make sure that he was like obviously as safe as possible, duh, like any mom would. But I have that and then that is where Miss Celine is gonna be. I already have her little camera set up up there. And then we just need to put in her car seat, which as of right now, I'm only 30 weeks pregnant. So we'll probably do that a little bit later because right now we do sometimes have like people riding with us or I'll have like bags or something and I like to just throw it in the back seat. But I do have a big old trunk. I'm gonna insert like a TikTok of the car that I have because I'm not good at like explaining all of like the little knickknack things, but just know it is a Mazda CX-50 and it looks mean, it looks sporty, but it's a mom car SUV type thing, but it's also my in-between car because everyone in my life knows that my dream car is a GMC Denali, okay? That is the SUV that I want, but obviously our priorities are in line so uh denali is not on the list right now right now we're trying to get a house i just needed to get a bigger car that i feel safe in that is a good family car and i literally did it also i um for those who don't know vic is um in the car sales area or whatever so she works for highly mazda of burleson um go see her if you guys need a car okay because she is damn good at what she does but she called me and she was like hey um like we've been on the like in the market or whatever for like a couple months now like we knew i was gonna get a new car but we just didn't know when we didn't know like any of that kind of stuff um we were kind of just waiting for like something to come along which i'm so thankful that we did so i was gonna have to get the mazda cx5 which was like in my budget but that one was a lot smaller so i really wanted this car but I was also very stern on how much I wanted to be paying because obviously, like I said, we have priorities and getting a nice bougie $700 payment was not in the, it was not in it, okay? Especially with about to be bringing another little baby into this world, your girl's not made of money, okay? Neither is my husband. So, um, anyways, Vic called me and she was like, hey, we're having a Black Friday deal. Um, I don't know the technical terms for it, but basically they sold me the car for the exact same price that they bought the car for. They're, so they sold me the car for the same price of what the dealership bought the car. And then on top of that, there was like a $750 RSVP. Is that the word? I don't know. But basically it was another $750 off. And then because Vic is literally the kindest soul, she does literally everything she can to make sure that our family is taken care of and i'm not gonna start crying but i'm just so so grateful for her and everything that she does for my family and she paid our first payment which meant a lot she did it as a birthday gift for me 
and it was just so sweet and such a cute little surprise um, that she did for us so I'm so 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 grateful um, because of her I literally walked into that dealership basically traded keys and walked out but anyways thank you Vic you're so very much appreciated um, if you guys need a new car yes sir yes sir how can I help you can I finish this really really fast okay um, if you guys need a new car, go to Vic. Okay, she is very, very good at what she does. She knows all the loopholes. She knows all of the, you know, the ins and outs of everything. She's been in the business. I want to say for like four or five years now. Um, don't quote me on that, but I know it's been a while. Um, and like I said, she works at the Mazda or highly Mazda of Burleson. So if you live in Texas in the DFW area or like near Burleson, Cleburne type situation go see my go go see Vic okay but anyways okay so now I am actually in the car obviously because we are headed to go get a dress dry cleaned so I've never in my life gotten anything dry cleaned like literally ever and um my grandma she just knew in her heart that one day I was going to be having a little girl sure enough here I am 30 weeks pregnant with a beautiful baby girl um and I have the dress that has gotten passed down to me that my grandma came home from the hospital in, that my mom came home from the hospital in, that I came home from the hospital in, and now that Celine will be coming home from the hospital in. So, um, I'm gonna take it to go and get dry clean. This is the dress. Um, it is super, super cute. Um, definitely needs to be cleaned though uh, she's yellowing now I think it used to be white it might have been cream I'm not 100% but definitely needs to be cleaned um like I said this is the exact same dress that my grandma my mom and I all three came home from the hospital in so I'm super excited like to go get it cleaned and then my daughter now gets to come home in this dress so it's literally been sitting in a cedar box in my room um for a while so my family has a hope chest that they've passed down through generations and they just passed down the hope chest to me um so i have it in my room and it has like a bunch of our like baby stuff in it like from generations back like my grandma's like baby book is in there my brother's first pair of shoes his first bracelet um a bunch of like old toys like little mickey mouse things that are like way old um there's just like a bunch of like stuff in there, okay? That is just from generations and generations. And this dress was one of the things that was in there. So anyways, we're gonna go get that dry cleaned. I'm also picking up something from CVS, which is a print that I'm gonna put in the kids' bathroom. And then, oh, and then I need to go finalize a sweater because we are going, or our baby shower is not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. My dress just came in and I'm gonna put the boys in a, um, like some kind of neutral colors Elias is one he's gonna wear whatever I put him in okay and then Anthony is 25 and he's also gonna wear whatever I put him in so we are going to um find Elias something Anthony already has something that he can wear so I'm not too worried about that but we need to go find Elias something but anyways okay that's enough I'm gonna stop talking because I feel like this is like forever long and let's go drop off this stuff at the dry cleaners <laughs> so I went to two different stores to try and find a sweater for Elias for um, the baby shower. And I thought it was a pretty common sweater. Like it, I just wanted one of those like nice, not formal sweaters, but like the kind that you wear to like a Christmas party. You know what I mean? Like where it has like the button up or the zipper, like the quarter, kind of like what I have on, but not so like fluffy and whatever, like a regular sweater. Does that make sense? And I found one at the children's place for like 13, he just slipped, <laughs> for like $13, but um, in my head, the store that I was thinking was the children's place was actually a Carter's, and I think it's like similar, but anyways, I went in there, and I found one kind of what I was looking for, but it was $40, mm, no thank you, no thank you, I liked the $13 one better. So last year, I had three pictures, up behind the couch and this year I decided to instead do two pictures with a wreath in the middle so I had an extra picture frame and I put it in the kids bathroom but like I said I'm doing it Grinch so it literally just did not match <laughs> I 
Look at how cute it is. All right, let's go hang it up. Now, whenever people take selfies in the mirror, the Grinch is going to be pooping in the background. Like how, I don't know, you guys can't really see because of the glare. But like he's just going to be in the background just pooping. So, y'all have fun taking selfies. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out you look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different Cheers. Here you go. 